imagine as a child sleeping in a conference room in an office building night after night? It's happening here in Hillsborough County to kids who've been taken from their homes by investigators. Candace McCowan now joins us live. And Candace, curious what the state had to say about this. Well, Stacey, we reached out to the state today and they pointed us to their contractor. Now, we're talking about kids who've been through the worst of situations. They've been taken from their homes because of substance abuse, domestic violence, maybe even neglect, and then brought to buildings like this office building behind me only to sleep in conference rooms. Sleeping on, in chairs overnight, that is something we do not want in this county. Hillsborough County Commissioner Sandra Merman tells me she heard about this recently. Kids sleeping in an office building because there wasn't a foster or group home for them to go to. I was mortified, actually. News Channel 8 heard it was happening here at this office building on North 51st Street, which houses Devereaux, a state subcontractor. When I first asked about kids having to sleep in their office... I mean, we don't have any beds here uh, at this location or, or any of our other locations. But that director later told me off camera that it's true. Kids sleep here on a night-by-night -night basis while waiting on placement, and it's been going on for several months. Is sleeping in an office building a better situation? That is not helping them. And I know that from firsthand experience. I'm a guardian. Robin Rosenberg works with child advocacy group Florida's Children First. She says the problem is more kids coming into the system than leaving. It's the power of the state that takes a child from their parents and puts them into this system. And it is the state that holds the ultimate responsibility for every child. We went to DCF today for answers. They pointed us to their contractor, but Merman is demanding answers. I am definitely gonna meet with uh, Secretary of DCF, Mike Carroll. And we did hear from that DCF contractor late this afternoon, Ecker, telling us in a statement that the kids that they're having trouble placing are the ones that are often staying in these offices. They're talking about kids with behavioral and criminal issues. Stacy, Awful, Candace. And now that we've brought it to light, what's going to be done to stop it? Do we have any idea? You know, that's a question we asked today, and Eckert tells us that they are looking for more temporary placement options for these kids. Stacey. All right. Candace McCowan, live tonight. Thank you.